You could have stopped all of this. If she takes Faith away now, it's on you. It's not going to happen because I won't let her. Well, you think you're a match for Sienna? She's ruthless. She'll stop at nothing to get what she wants. And I will protect my child at any cost. It's not me you need to worry about. She's ill and she's not fit to look after Faith. Right, I'll go and speak to her. Why are those two thick as thieves all of a sudden? She's turning him against you. It's what she does. He won't believe her, would he? What did Sienna have to say? Nothing for you to worry about. She's just on one. It was about Faith, wasn't it? Might have come up. She barely slept these last few days. Need to get some rest. What isn't he telling me? I don't like this. She's got to him. They're plotting against you. I know you're tired. Whatever you do, do not fall asleep. Nico's wrong about your Auntie Sienna. She wouldn't have you taken from me. She loves us. Right. Time for your feed. Wakey, wakey. She's taken her. What? I told you she was dangerous. Sienna's taken Faith. You're sure about that, are you? Yes. If she's not well. I'm thinking we made a mistake. I'm thinking you're the unstable one. No, you, you're wrong. Nico said. Nico? Nico? Nico's dead. You're the crazy one. She's dead. She's dead. She's dead. Hi, Felix. Look, I don't just want to leave a message, but Cormac Stall is in the village. I can't look her in the eye knowing what we did to her dad. I, I, I don't know what to do. Do, do I tell Sienna or...? She's not well. I'm scared for Faith. No, no, don't be going down that path again. I know you want Faith back. Liberty isn't able to look after her properly. She needs help. I think you both do. You're right. Maybe I should seek some professional help. I mean, it's been a stressful situation for both of us. I'm sorry. Look, I will do whatever I can to help, OK? She's gone, she's gone, she's gone. David. Yeah. Where have you been? I said I'd take a fire. You remember? Yeah, I know. Yeah, we, we were just playing hide and seek, weren't we? Sure, you're okay. You just seem a bit. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Sienna's really worried about you. The irony is, I'm worrying about her. Can you please tell her I'm okay? That's what you want. Damon's on Sienna's side. No. I gave faith to him. I just forgot. You can't let anyone know that you're getting confused. Or they'll take faith away forever. You're not good for me. You keep telling me stuff that isn't true. Please leave. Just go. I'll go. But I know you'll need me again. I don't normally have that effect on men. Just need a bit of respite. And a friendly face. <sighs> and maybe that coffee you promised me. But I'd offer to get you one, but I'm totally skint. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, the waitress will be doing the rounds in a second, though. It's so weird seeing my dad lying in a bed all helpless. The thought of having to look after him rather than the other way around just freaks me out. I used to see the kids at the home sometimes, and they were always proper jealous of me, because he was my actual dad. And I'd always say that I was sharing him with them all. Oh, look at me putting you on a downer. No. Let's talk about something else. Uh, how about... Oh, my impending poverty trap. I had to give up my job to be with Dad, and now I ain't got any cash whatsoever. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. No, oh, I'll get through. But if you see me rummaging in your bins, you'll know why. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can give you a job at the Love Boat. The Love Boat? Is that as seedy as it sounds? Only as seedy as a burger bun with seeds on it. That sounded so much better in my head. Thank you so much. You're amazing. <laughs> now, where did we land on that coffee? So, it looks like we're going to be seeing a lot of each other, doesn't it? 